Good evening, I'm Jill Swed. And I'm Sean Everson. Thanks for joining us this evening. Our top story tonight, the student government debates were held Tuesday, February 12th. The debates began with opening statements from the presidential candidates. Nate Klosterman of Back to Business emphasized, emphasized a desire to unite the faculty and students, have stronger student representation on campus, and further diversify campus by fighting hate and bias. Vidar Sharma of the Community Ticket discussed new plans for academic advising, the Chartered Student Organization Handbook, the chartering process, or, I'm sorry, chartering process, uh, meal plans, and housing options. The full debates will be held, will be available on SLU TV's YouTube page later this week. The elections will take place on Tuesday, February 26th. Sean is now in the Weather Center for our first look at our forecast. Sean, it was a pretty nice day today, minus those few rain showers we saw this afternoon, right? Absolutely. With a uh, strong uh, southern winds we saw this morning gusting over 35 miles an hour, it kicked up the temperatures near 60 degrees by 11 o'clock this morning. But as we progress through the afternoon, temperatures dropped down slightly, and then we saw some rain showers late early this evening, and those continue to move through the St. Louis area. But right now, 48 degrees, not too bad. As of now, those showers continue to move off to the east. So we'll see some lingering showers probably for around the next half hour or so till about maybe 8, 8.30. But then cooler air will start to move in as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll have much more coming up in a few minutes with my full forecast, including what we can expect for this winter storm on Thursday. Back to you, Jill. Thanks, Sean. The Spring Gr Career and Graduate School Fair will be held from noon until 4 p.m. on Wednesday, February 20th in the Wool Ballroom at the Bush Student Center. Before the event, make sure you visit the Career Services website to research the 120 plus participating organizations and find the, and also the 45 organizations who are recruiting all majors. This is a great chance to find job opportunities and work on networking skills. The career, fail, the career fair is open to all students for no charge, and there's a $10 fee for non-SLU students. Cody Ellis scored a game-high 18 points to lead four St. Louis players in double figures as the Billikens won 76-58 against Charlotte on Saturday night at Shea Fitz Arena. This was the Billikens' seventh consecutive victory they still remain a half game behind league leader VCU, but the two will square off tomorrow night at Chaffetz Arena at 8 p.m. Tomorrow night will also be the first SLU night at the City Diner at the Fox. This is a part of a collaboration between K-SLU and the City Diner at the Fox. This event will be held the third Tuesday of every month. K-SLU will be DJing the event from 8 p.m. until 10, and there will be happy hour specials just for SLU students. Stop by for fun, and they will also accept Billiken Bucks. Coming up next, local and international news, including a statement on, how, on what local law enforcement say the cause and spike in thefts of, growing, of older model cars don't go away. Welcome back. St. Louis area police say a revised law is encouraging thieves to steal older cars and sell their parts. This is causing a huge rise in auto thefts. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch reported the law, which took an effect last August, made it legal to sell a non-functioning vehicle 10 years or older without a title. Police report that thieves can make $200 to $500 for each car. The lawmaker who proposed the change rejects police complaints and say the law was intended to help rural uh, landowners get, ride, get rid of their junk cars that are abandoned on their property. Passengers on a cruise ship in the Gulf of Mexico were stranded early last week. The Carnival Triumph was returning to the Gulf Coast from Cozumel, Mexico when a fire broke out in the sh ship's engine room, cutting off power for the entire ship. Shortly after, the ship's sanitation system failed, causing sewage to overflow into the hallways. Refrigerators also failed, causing the food in them to spoil. 
In, this heart, in these harsh conditions, the crew reportedly stayed professional and worked extra shifts to ensure the well-being of the passengers. Extra supplies were brought in after the engine failure by the Coast Guard and Carnival. The Triumph was towed by multiple boats and finally arrived in Mobile, Alabama on Thursday. Passengers have been offered compensation, including a free flight home, a refund of the trip, and $500. On Thursday, the boards of U.S. Airways and AMR Corporation announced a merger between U.S. Airways and American Airlines, creating the world's largest airline. The news came after AMR, the parent company of American, filed for bankruptcy in late 2011. The combined airline will use the American Airlines branding while retaining much of the management from U.S. Airways. This new merger merged airline, along with United, Delta, and Southwest Airlines, will make up more than 80% of the United States airline market. The complete deal between the two companies is expected to close later this year. A meteorite flashed across the sky over central Russia Friday, raining fire and emitting a shock wave that smashed windows, damaged buildings, and injured 1,200 people. No one was killed. One Russian lawmaker is now claiming the meteorite was actually a United States weapons test. This accusation is, however, unlikely to strain U.S.-Russia relations. Monster Energy AMA Cross Supercross is coming to the Edward Jones Dome on Friday, March 2nd. This motorcycle racing sport involves off-road motorcycles on artificially made dirt tracks consisting of steep jumps and obstacles. For more information, visit www.supercrossonline.com. Coming up next, your work week forecast. Stay tuned. Meteorologist Sean Everson is here with the first look of his full forecast. So we saw a pretty breezy day today, and then those rain showers moved in. Is, are the rain going to stick with us overnight, or is it going to be quick, quick moving once it gets through this evening? Well, the rain showers should indeed wrap up within the next hour or so, and afterwards the wind will actually stick around, but things will start to clear out. As we can see, the showers will pass tonight, and tomorrow the clouds will start to break, and some sun will shine, but we'll be back down into the 30s for highs. Tuesday and Wednesday, and then looking ahead into win late Wednesday night into Thursday, a winter storm will be moving through, and right now it's looking like we're going to get some wintry mix in our area with some snow and sleet. I'll touch up base on that in a few moments. But looking at the Almanac today, we did get up to 60 degrees at Lambert, only 53 at SLU, so we did see some warmer conditions early this morning before those showers moved through. But looking at the storm track, right now at this hour, the showers continue to move off to the east and that cold front is just located off to the west of our area and that'll move through within the next few hours. So windy conditions will stick around to tomorrow. So we'll see winds still gusting upwards of 25 to 30 miles an hour and then we'll see some cooler air move in but still see some sunshine in the area in lieu of our next weather system which will come in on Thursday. The models right now it's a little far out to pinpoint exactly where this will take place, but the latest models show an area of snow and sleet, a wintry mix here for the St. Louis area, one to three inches. Just off to this, our south, we'll see, we'll see freezing rain and some icing take place, and we'll see upwards of three to six inches of snow accumulating to the north of St. Louis, heading, extending into the western parts of Illinois. The bulk of the storm, though, is looking to hit up into the Omaha area and into western Iowa. But here at St. Louis, we're looking to see conditions of snow and sleet. But back to overnight tonight, 
as you can see, 26 here in St. Louis, 28 down in Sparta, 25 in Highland, and we'll see conditions 26 out in Chesterfield in St. Charles as well. So your forecast for your Tuesday, 36, partly sunny with those breezing conditions, winds shifting to the northwest, still gusting over 25 miles an hour by Wednesday. Temperatures will still be cool, 32 for the high under mostly sunny skies. Winds will taper off a bit, shifting to the northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Looking at our five-day extended forecast, you can see the cool down tomorrow and Wednesday, and then the wintry mix shows up on late Wednesday night into Thursday, and maybe lingering into the beginning parts of Friday. But then we'll just have cloudy conditions for Friday and Saturday as temperatures look to get up back up into the 40s. So. It, depending on where the, tr uh, the model tracks this mm -hmm. low pressure system, we could see, hopefully, at least some uh, accumulation of some sleet and snow. If it moves farther north, we'll see possibly some freezing rain and ice. But if it tracks it any more south, we could see some uh, possible snow accumulations. Which I think a lot of us will really look forward to because we haven't really had winter here. And I guess it's going to be our, like, our last hurrah, I guess you could say, exactly. too, before spring arrives pretty soon. Yep. All right, thanks, Sean. Next, entertainment, technology, and interesting news, including why Motown singer Stevie Wonder is not happy with rapper Lil Wayne. Stay tuned. We are all. 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 Billikins. 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 Welcome back. Rapper Lil Wayne is in hot water with former Motown recording artist Stevie Wonder. The Grammy Award winning rapper apparently made a comparison to the infamous killing of 14 year old Emmett Till when describing sexual acts in his lyrics. Lil Wayne uses the comparison in a remix of the rapper's future song titled Karate Chop. The, uh, Stevie Wonder called the lyrics disturbing and said that the lyrics should not have been made out of the studio for the world to hear. Burger King was in for an interesting surprise after their Twitter account was hacked and made to look like an account ran by a fast food competitor, McDonald's. The account, which was hacked today, posted vulgar tweets and photos regarding employees and company policies. Burger King later apologized for the tweets and the account was temporarily suspended but once back up, the account was returned to its original state, but the vulgar tweets were still visible. With the Academy Awards less than one week away, the question, have you seen, is getting a more positive response this year. In past years, many Best Picture nominees have struggled to, top the, to make top marks at the box office. This year, nine, out of the nine nominees, five pictures, including Argo, Les Miserables, Lincoln, Django Unchained and The Life of Pi have surpassed $100 million domestically. Zero Dark Thirty and Silver Linings Playbook are not far below that threshold. These films have also done surprisingly, surprisingly well overseas. This year's Best Picture class doesn't have a clear-cut leader like in years past. Many are suspecting that it will be a showdown between Argo and Lincoln to take home the Academy's top, top prize Sunday night. The nominated films are unconventional stories, Western, detailed political sagas, mental health issues, and religion are not typically big box office draws. The 85th Annual Academy Awards will air Sunday night at 6 p.m. Central Time on ABC. So I guess we're going to get another chance of some wintry weather on Thursday, and we're all keeping a very close eye on it, right? Yep. Just, yeah, stay posted within the next few days, because with the system this far out, anything is possible in terms of changing from getting a few inches of sleet and snow to upwards of half a foot of snow, but it looks like right now we're looking at some snow and sleet, wintry mix, so that's... Not really the kind of wintry weather we like to exactly. see, but... Not enough to probably give us a snow day, <laughs> Oh, so. man, that would be great. Exactly. Like, it's about that time that we had that snow delay, or those snow days two years ago, exactly, so... Exactly, so... It'd be really cool if that would happen again. <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, you can always get the latest movie reviews and news online at slutv.slu.edu or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll be right back here next week at 7 p.m.